Hi, my class 9 friends. Uh, we are going to solve question 19 of exercise 11, which is Pythagoras theorem exercise from Frank Brothers publication of class 9 pre-boards maths. So many children have told me that they find this difficult. So let us just go through this. ABC is an equilateral triangle. Side BC is trisected at D. Prove that 9AD square is equal to 7AB square. So you have AD square that is here and that is to be connected with AB square. When you have to solve any question based on Pythagoras theorem, drawing the diagram is essential. So ABC is an equilateral triangle. I have drawn that and uh, BC is trisected. So I have marked here D. So BD becomes one third of BC. So we have written that given triangle ABC is equilateral triangle. BD is one third of BC. And then we are asked to prove this. So we say to prove 9AD square is equal to 7AB square. Now, because there is no right triangle given to us, we will have to drop a perpendicular. So from A, we drop a perpendicular. That becomes our construction. So AP perpendicular to BC. When we write the proof, we divide the page into two halves, statements and reasons. All right. So in case you are stuck for anything, you start with just triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle which is given. Therefore, our AB, BC and AC, they are going to be equal sides, right? So we are going to say, let AB equal to BC equal to AC equal to X centimeter. And that is from this statement one, because sides of the equilateral triangle are equal. Then we also write BD, see there, it is one third of BC. So BD becomes one third of X, that is X upon three centimeter. Then we say AP is perpendicular to BC as it was given over here, that is construction, okay? Now, because AP is perpendicular, it is going to divide BC into two equal parts. So we will write BP equal to PC equal to half BC. And what is BC? It is X. So it will be X upon two centimeter. And the reason will be statement number four, which is the construction. AP perpendicular to BC and perpendicular from the vertex bisects the base of the triangle and that is your statement number two also because statement number two says BC is X so we write it as X upon two. Now we are going to look at our right triangle so we have a APB right triangle and APD right triangle. So if I take APB right triangle then I need to know BP now BP we already know is X upon 2 but if we take triangle APD then we need to know DP. So we need to find out the value of DP. So DP is going to be your BP minus BD and that will give us DP. DP is here. Okay. So we are going to write your DP is equal to BP minus BD. BP minus BD. All right. Now BP, the value of it is X by 2 from statement number 5. So we've written here statement number 5 and BD, the value is X upon 3. So we substitute the value of BD here. That is statement number 3. Now, if you take the LCM, you will get X upon 6 centimeter. All right. So we have the value of DP. We have the value of BD. We have the value of BP. Now, you will see that in our proof, we need AD square. So AD square is going to be part of this triangle, correct? In this triangle, I need to have the value of AP as well. So in order to get AP in terms of X, remember out here, your BC full thing from here to here is X. And so even your AB from here to here is X. Correct? You got that? All right. Now in a right triangle APB. So we have APB. Okay. So now I have cut out one piece of paper and I have put the diagram here for our reference. So you will see in a triangle APB, APB, your AB square will be equal to AP square plus BP square. So we write just that. Yeah. Now in our proof, 
we want AD square. Now AD square will be obtained from this triangle. So I need to have the value of AP square. So I'm going to transfer BP square this side. So AP square is here and BP square goes that side. So it becomes AB square minus BP square. Now looking at the diagram, look at the value here. AB, BC, AC is X. So your AB square becomes X square and BP is this. Now BP is going to be half of BC. So that is X upon 2 whole square. Open this bracket. We will have X squared minus X squared upon 4. Take the LCM 4 and so this becomes 4X squared minus X squared. That is 3X squared upon 4. So we have the value of AP square. Now because we need AD square, we need to take this triangle. Okay. So in this right triangle, by Pythagoras theorem, we will have AD square is equal to AP square plus DP square. Now your AP square, we already have the value. That is 3X square upon 4. Now DP over here, we found out earlier in statement number 7, it was X by 6. So you can go back and check the working of that once again. But we are just going to substitute DP is 1 upon 6. So now we just simplify this 3x squared upon 4 plus this becomes x squared upon 36. We take the LCM 36. Now we have nothing else to do. We have to just simplify this, right? So 4, 9 is 36. So 9, 3 is 27 x squared plus this x squared. That gives us 28 x squared upon 36. Now common factor over here is 4. So you have 7 x squared upon 9. And then we shall have this AD square I write here. So AD square is equal to 7x squared upon 9 cross multiply 9 AD square equal to 7x squared. Now what is x squared? Your x squared is nothing but your AB or BC or AC. So we will say equal to 7AB squared and that is how we proved it. Alright, so we understood how to do this question. Now look out for another doubt. Also, I'll be solving quite a few doubts from Frank Brothers as well as Concise Maths. And also, I want you to know that I am in the process of making my online course. So keep looking in the description for the link for the online course so that people who cannot benefit by directly coming to me will also benefit and it is in the process of making. In the meantime, keep safe. Keep healthy. Bye. Thank you for watching.